Okay, so it's a nice day out here in March. So I'm breaking in the new engine, which is going great. So I'm just gonna take a minute, just kind of drift it up into this. The whole river is really flooded right now. So I've drifted up into this area over here and I figured we could go through some of the things on the new boat, in particular the console. I've had a lot of questions come in about it. So I'm gonna share, basically, I'm gonna show it here. I don't think I've shown it yet. So I really, I had a hard time finding a little console that would fit this boat well, because it is a pretty compact boat, but I wanted to make a console that would be comfortable, functional, and also leave you with a lot of deck space here. So I ended up making my own, and so here it is. Um, and it doubles as a grab bar, obviously. So we have this as an option here. Um, just really comfortable to hold on to. It's at a decent height, so when you're sitting, you can um, grab onto that just fine. And if you're standing and you say you need to hold on to it because a, a little wave's coming, you can you can get down there and hold on to it for some extra bracing. So it's at a decent height. And then the seat here, it's comfortable enough to be a seat. Uh, it's not like, it's not gonna be as comfortable as a couch, obviously. And I ended up going with this thin EVA uh, sea deck uh for the pads i think it makes the perfect kind of crossover between being it gives you a little bit of padding when you're seating um it's not too expensive which is also great and then also you can stand on this and it's very comfortable to stand on that's what this material is for standing on this you can stand on this and fish off of the console so that's a great kind of dual use for it oftentimes i fish off of the cooler just stand on it but if you want to move forward you can get up here and fish from here and that balances the boat out a little bit better so you can get in a bit shallower and so from the back side here what i ended up doing this was just my own personal preference is i cut a little access hatch here and you can see i have my gas tank there and these grommets lead to a rigging tube that is within the hull. So my gas line goes down underneath the deck and comes out here with the motor. Uh, I placed it right here because in the future I'm probably, I might go with full remote control on this engine. So I have a place there to run, say, a steering cable control cables and those would hook up into the engine here so it's kind of in the perfect position but my gas line runs from engine there inside the hull through the rigging tube out here into the gas tank i haven't strapped anything down yet um, and also i left this little lip here so if i just really want to throw something in here real quick you can do that i haven't strapped the tank down yet i'm pretty sure it's going to go all the way forward that's why I haven't strapped it down. Still kind of feeling out the boat. But if you wanted, absolutely, if you just wanted this totally flat, we can do that. It's as easy as not cutting this out. And if you want a hatch installed here, that also can be done. It's a pretty big flat space here to install a hatch if you really want to keep everything nice and watertight. Okay, so it's been a couple hours now of following the break-in procedure for this new motor and everything's good. Came across this pond here on the side of the river and so far I'm getting 22 miles an hour with this. I do think I could block it up another inch or so in height and maybe get some more speed out of it. So that's gonna take a little bit of trial and error to get there, but I'll figure it out at some point. And I've just been taking some casts up here from the console. It's actually very nice. It's kind of nice to be up in the center of the boat. I wish I had my trolling set up here, but I don't. At some point I will be putting that in. 
but yeah so far the new motor has been been going great and i really like the setup with the console and the cooler seat i'm definitely going to be sliding things forward a couple inches so i'm going to make sure i write down the measurements before i'm done here for the day and so as usual i have everything down underneath and out of the way the rods on those rod racks that are installed those are on the website as well shoes some cleaning stuff and then down in here i got all the other stuff uh safety life jacket all the required stuff down in there a paddle too and so these are those new fiberglass slam hatches so uh, it's a little bit easier to get them closed no need to twist just drop it slam shut uh, looks great strong sturdy works well uh, this boat's been sitting in some rain it does not much maybe a drop or two comes in so i really liked how these fiberglass hatches turned out and now i'm able to make these any color to match whatever anybody wants as opposed to the other ones they just came in white and gray which would per usual plastic uh, tends to fade over time in the sun so um, these should hold up a lot better and the only other thing i've been thinking about is i was debating putting a little remote control system on this boat as i said so a wheel over here and then somehow incorporate a throttle i just decided in the end not to do that um, but i definitely will be doing it so i've just been trying to imagine it as i've gone about the day here it would be nice so that's something to keep an eye out. And that's certainly something that can be done. That's why this area right here exists. It's for anyone to put whatever they want here on the console. Very easy to do, um, plenty of access as well.